Well, thank you very much. It is indeed a great honour to host Prime Minister Rambuka today, and it was wonderful to be hosted by the Prime Minister in Fiji very soon after uh, his election. And it has been great to be able to renew our friendship on a face-to-face -face basis. The Prime Minister is here for a number of days, and I look forward to hosting the Prime Minister at the Lodge uh, tonight uh, with his delegation with a range of my ministers. Australia deeply values the close and long-standing partnership that we have with Fiji. Uh, that was recently demonstrated in a very practical way with the uh, flying out of, uh, by Fiji Airways of 13 Australians out of Tel Aviv on the 10th of October, and Australia being able to assist 30 Fijian nationals back home on Sunday. To reflect the maturity of our relationship, we have signed today a renewed and elevated Vuvale partnership. Pleased to announce that Australia is providing further budget support to Fiji to help economic recovery and to boost growth. And I've agreed with Prime Minister Rambuka that Fiji will be included as a pilot country for a new streamlined Australian visa application service to make sure that people flows between us can continue to assist in the process of making our friendship stronger. I'm pleased to confirm the sale of 14 Bushmasters to facilitate Fiji's deployment to peacekeeping operations around the world. And we've also agreed to finalise a new Memorandum of Understanding on Cyber Security Cooperation to tackle the rise of cyber security challenges in our region. Both of us agree that Pacific unity is central to the relationship in our region, and Fiji plays a critical leadership role. And I want to uh, single out the Prime Minister for the role that he played in ensuring that the Pacific Island Forum is more united to make sure that all countries are working together and at the Pacific Island Forum that will take place in the Cook Islands next month, uh, Australia and Fiji will once again uh, be showing the cooperation, the common values that we have in working for Pacific unity and working on the issues such as addressing the challenge of climate change, economic development and a strong and secure Pacific region. The Prime Minister. Thank you very much. And, uh Honourable Prime Minister, uh, the press corps, uh, thank you very much for taking time to come and uh, hear us out. I've just expressed uh, how grateful Fiji has been for the uh, relationship that we have had with Australia over the years. And uh, fortunately, I've uh, come back to, uh, into politics and uh, national leadership, and I have noticed that uh, it is growing. It's grown very quickly. Uh, I don't know whether since I became prime minister, but uh, it, has, uh, it has been improving. And we can now uh, uh, thank you most sincerely, the uh, people of Australia. We have uh, uh, reached the uh, pre-COVID-19 uh, figures in our tourism, uh, tourist arrivals and also tourism income, and most of the contributors have come to us from Australia. And we'd like to thank you and the people uh, and the Australians for, for helping us. As you come to us, uh, we, we provide employment for our tourism industry workers, as well as uh, providing those that, uh, employment for those that were probably not working or not as gainfully employed uh, in Fiji as they are now uh, involved in the uh, mobility and labor mobility scheme. We're very grateful for that. And in our uh, talks, uh, we have uh, looked at ways of improving uh, the, the lot of our workers and perhaps reduce the volume by increasing uh, technical cooperation in our education so that if we maintain the volume, it will be more skilled, uh, a bit more skilled rather than the uh, semi-skilled or unskilled, 
our, our problem is that they get, uh, the wages they get here are better than what they get at home. And you're also attracting some of those that are already in the employment market. But uh, we are very grateful. And the uh, Bubale, uh, the uh, improved, not improved, uh, increased capacity of the Bubale Corporation is a great uh, a welcome to the list of uh, cooperative uh, efforts we have had. Uh, and as uh, most of us know, uh, in the Pacific, Bubale is family and the association we have and uh, our Bubale partnership uh, reflects that. We are, uh, we are a family, and a lot of the things we do within our sections of the, of the economy, uh, oh, sorry, of the family, uh, are supported by others. Uh, the Prime Minister very grace, graciously acknowledged uh, my role in, uh, in the Pacific Forum. Uh, I was able to speak to some leaders who were a bit shaky in their trust of Fiji, uh, we managed to uh, embrace them once again before I handed over the, the forum leadership to the Prime Minister of the Cook Islands. And uh, we are very grateful for the contribution of the uh, Royal Australian Air Force VIP flight that took me up to Kiribati to, uh, to talk to, Prime Minister, uh, to President Mamau of Kiribati. We uh, welcome the, the development and the processing of uh, uh, international travel with our citizens uh, coming to Australia and uh, the promise of uh, those improving. It will also improve our systems at home. So uh, you have been a very gracious host and I'm glad that uh, we were able to host you at your own facility, your own funded facility of BlackRock in uh, in 90, uh, when the Prime Minister had come back from uh, doing something in, uh, in San Diego with uh, Prime Minister Sunak and President Biden. Uh, and I was honored. The Prime Minister Albanese called me the night before just to, just because we have, we have family. He said, why, why me? Why Bupal? So he called me to let me know what was happening many miles away. So I'm very, very grateful that we can co continue to have this warm relationship with Australia. Uh, the uh, investors from Australia contribute the maximum uh, volume of investment in Fiji and therefore contribute also the biggest percentage of employment opportunities for the citizens of Fiji. So thank you very much. Thank you so much, Prime Minister. Uh, we've got uh, a few questions. Stephen. Thanks, Prime Minister. Um, Prime Minister Rambuka, you've spoken about a zone of peace in the Pacific. Obviously, Australia has expressed a level of concern about China's emergence as a security partner to some Pacific Island countries. Can I ask your view? Do you believe that China can be part of a Pacific zone of peace as a security player, or should that be left to Fiji's traditional partners and members of the Pacific Islands Forum. Uh, and Prime Minister Anthony Al Anth uh, Albanese, while we're speaking about... You're being um, cheeky with... Uh, it's, uh, one, one, it, one each, it, it, sir. It, it's uh, one question, but keep going. Um, just, on, just on news that's breaking right now, obviously deeply distressing images um, out of Gaza. Uh, does the Australian government have any um, information at this early stage about whether any Australians have been caught up in this, either killed or injured? And do you have an early assessment as to whether Israel is behind the strike or is it actually Hamas, as Israel has alleged? Okay. I'll do the, uh, the, uh, the perception of the Pacific in this. Some people call it rivalry. Some people call it one-upmanship, whatever it is. Uh, we're more comfortable dealing with traditional friends that we, are, we have uh, similar uh, systems of government, that our democracies are, are the same brand of democracy uh, coming out of the Westminster system of parliament and also uh, based on, uh, on British laws that we inherited. So our justice system, our policing system, we're more comfortable with friends that we have had 
over a longer period. Um, and we would like to develop the uh, concept of the zone of peace uh, and uh, the concept of uh, friends to all, enemies to none. I know that it is uh, naive to believe that that, will, that can happen, uh, but that is the way we must conduct our, our domestic affairs so that we do not appear to be aggressive in our relationship with our neighbors and also with our friends that we have had cordial uh, international bilateral relationships with. Thanks very much. Um, uh, we have seen a devastating uh, loss of innocent life since uh, the attacks on Israel by the terrorist group Hamas. But the scenes from the explosion at a Gaza City hospital are deeply distressing. And it is clear that there has been a devastating loss of life Every innocent life matters, whether it is Israeli or Palestinian. Our thoughts are with those killed, those injured and their loved ones. The protection of civilian lives must come first, as the parliament said in its resolution that we carried on Monday. And respect for international humanitarian law is paramount. We condemn any indiscriminate attacks and targeting of civilian infrastructure, including hospitals. And Australia joins with others in calling for international law to always be upheld. Next question is from Fiji. Um, once again, uh, I acknowledge the new visa arrangement that, uh, that you just uh, announced, but uh, maybe you could tell us uh, um, is your government working on, uh, you know, the pursuance of uh, uh, the Fijian government and the Pacific PIF uh, forum members for a visa-free Pacific? And uh, maybe tell us why the delay on this. Um, we are working, and today uh, what we have uh, announced is uh, Fiji being uh, part of a with Fiji's agreement. Uh, being part of a pilot program to have a streamlined uh, visa system uh, so that the delays already have been reduced substantially, cut uh, by uh, almost three quarters uh, between January and September. So we have made major progress. Uh, what we want in particular is for uh, visitors from Fiji who are regular visitors to Australia to have uh, streamlined access. This is possible through uh, new technology, uh, through those who have uh, e-passports uh, to be able to get uh, much faster passage and much streamlined passage. Uh, Australia, though, will continue to maintain our system of uh, visas uh, that we require for visitors, um, but what we want to do is to make sure that we work, and I think the uh, agreement to do this uh, with Fiji uh, will be an important pilot program. Uh, Daniel. Uh, Prime Minister Rambuka, you spoke yesterday at the Lowy Institute about how Pacific countries are bearing the brunt of the climate crisis, a crisis that Pacific countries didn't cause. Uh, you'll be at the Pacific Islands Forum uh, meeting in the Cook Islands next month alongside Prime Minister Albanese. Yes. Are Australia's emissions targets enough or should Australia be curbing new fossil fuel developments? And do you expect that Pacific leaders will use next month's meeting to put pressure on Australia to shut down its fossil fuel industry? Thank you very much. Uh, we are, we are really realistic about our uh, demands. Uh, as they slow down on uh, some of the things that uh, are making them tick at this time, uh, that have contributed to their progress this far, and we have benefited from those we, through aid and assistance and, uh, and straightforward grants in the past. We do not want them to, uh, to stop doing what they're doing. We want them to uh, sort of tone down as uh, the, the word is sustainable. We uh, all forget that we're all going for sustainable, and it's got to be sustainable. You don't just stop everything. It's got to be sustainable in the uh, uh, 
uh, from the uh, from a uh, sovereign point of view. And for us in the Pacific, we will have to contribute to counter what has not been able to be achieved quickly here. We in the Pacific can contribute towards in uh, through assistance for our mitigation and uh, and other programs that we carry out uh, and contribute to towards uh, climate change. I mean, to lessen the effects of climate change. Thanks, Prime Minister. Um, Fiji. Once again, I acknowledge the work has been, that has been put in place in regards to the PALM scheme. And our, our work as the reports continue to come up, come out that uh, some of our workers continue to uh, face ill treatment by some of the employers. What is your government doing to curb this? Uh, we think overwhelmingly the, the PALM scheme has been an enormous success. We want to make sure that any exploitation whether of foreign workers or Australian workers, uh, is uh, eliminated. Uh, there is legislation before the Australian Parliament right now about closing loopholes, aimed at making sure that Australia's laws when it comes to wages and conditions are upheld. And uh, so, for example, uh, that legislation provides for a criminalisation of wage theft, uh, where employers uh, consciously are involved in such activity. And we know that there have been, uh, unfortunately, some examples. But overwhelmingly, this has been enormously beneficial for both Australia and for Fiji. And yeah. so what we are looking for here is win-win. Australia benefiting from uh, the contribution of labour uh, from the Fijian workforce, uh, but Fiji benefiting from the repatriation of economic benefits uh, back to families in Fiji and making sure that both our countries benefit. And that's why we have uh, reforming uh, the PALM scheme uh, as a priority. It's why some of the best examples uh, that I've seen overseas of Australian educational engagement as well uh, was when I was in Suva as, uh, on my first visit to Fiji as Prime Minister, uh, looking at uh, nursing and aged care. Uh, training and skills uh, being now deployed. Some of those uh, staff who I met there are now working in aged care uh, facilities uh, in regional Queensland, uh, making an enormous difference, but also uh, assisting their families. Uh, but we spoke uh, today about the importance uh, of this program. Uh, we'll continue to work together, and I very much look forward to uh, hosting the Prime Minister. We'll be on the floor of our, our parliament at question time at two o'clock today. Can I answer uh, from the gallery? I look forward. You can well, well. We'll see if you get some questions from then. Uh, the parliamentarians are less cheeky than the journalists who try to sneak in follow-up questions. Uh, but uh, we we will see. But feel free to intervene, Prime Minister. Uh, in, in, we don't allow our, our gallery to participate. So we won't. In the uh, in the process, but uh, we are of course uh, of course two two great friends as leaders, uh, but two great friends as nations, importantly. And tonight at the Lodge we'll be celebrating that and I'm very much looking forward to it. Yeah, Thanks yeah. very much, everyone. Thank you. Thank you very much.